Hello everyone, I'm going to follow up here on the quick screencast. Well, if you noticed um, or seen my videos, you probably heard about all the MacBook Pros, heat issues. I mean, it's been going on for years now. And uh, I don't know about the new MacBook Pros, but uh, I still do know that they have too much thermal paste still. But um, anyways, I'm just going to do a follow up, show you some temperature readings here and quickly do a demonstration. So I replaced the thermal paste with some Arctic Silver 5 on the uh, MacBook Pro I have here. I'm just going to connect to it via the screen share. There we go. Um, I have con full control of my fans. I created a bunch of scripts if you want to control my fan speeds. I'm not a big fan of SMC fan control just because I can't control my fans through that. These I can shut them off. My scripts I can shut them off, turn them on, you know, do all fun stuff like that. So for this test, I'm gonna go fan. I'm gonna set them at full speed, which by default they're always on full speed. That was a Apple update a while back ago that did that for the Santa Rosa MacBook Pros. Oh, so all right. So at full speed, we got, we're resting about 120, 120. 130 room temperature is about 80 78 80 degrees uh, we're going to run a quick utility here this uh, pointless command but is a good cpu stress test and we're going to run one more and that will take my cpu up to 100 percent processing of doing basically nothing and uh, we'll get a rough uh, running temperature here and I will skip ahead once I get there but as you can see it doesn't increase too heavily uh, it should rest at 160 on 70 okay so I've been running this for about 10 minutes now and it is basically staying between 160 170 it kind of bounces back and forth at 10 degrees um, I'm not sure why but basically it likes to hang between 165 170 which is good temperatures actually uh, before I changed out the thermal paste and got rid of the excessive paste thanks to Apple um, I was running all sorts of uh, this would shoot up to 200 degrees and eventually after a, a good amount of time it would do emergency shutdown which the computer just with the safety feature just shuts off when it hits a boiling point which is 212 or 100 degrees Celsius that's just Intel's uh, limits there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just close these out and get this back down to uh, idle here nice if my mouse would respond there it goes and since I can control my fan speeds I can actually turn these off and get the CPU up to 200 degrees and get it to do emergency shutdown even with the new thermal paste but uh, I'm not going to do that because that's just kind of dumb but uh, hey it, that's it's one test you can run on your MacBook Pro and run it for 10-15 minutes if your computer doesn't shut down on its own like uh, then you'll, you're probably fine but um, your computer should idle between your MacBook Pro Santa Rosa should idle between uh, 115 and 125. Our uh, normal range is 120, 130. And uh, our full load should be between 160 and 170, and at most 180 if it's extreme intensive application. So that, that's what it should be. Um, if you want these fan scripts I created, uh, just give me a holler or a shout. Send me a message and I can, I'll send them over to you. These will only control MacBook Pro fans. Um, I have some iMac fan control speeds that manually control the fans. So if you want those, just uh, give me a holler. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you later.